Hey you guys, I am in such high energy today and I am like super duper excited. I just realized that we are almost done with this first week of February and I did not give y'all an energy exchange video. However, I did do a collective energy exchange video of where we're transitioning to on my Instagram. And y'all can find me on Instagram. I'll put that in the comments below so you can check out that video if your sign is not here. Because on this channel, you know, we only do Capricorn, Libra, and Scorpio. All right. So I am in good vibes, good energy. I'm feeling amazing, super duper amazing. All right. We done cleansed everything. And it's time to go. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it's your old Shun, the one and only, and I am going to do an energy exchange, transition, however you want to call it, here today for my Capricorns. And what we're going to do is we're going to show the energy that you're coming out of into what your new energy focus is going to transition into. Give you a little insight with three card pools, then give you some advice as well and top you off with the angel number and i'll tell you what the angel number means okay you guys so i hope that you're really really excited because i'm really really excited so today i'll be using my message tarot it's with the major arcana okay i'll also be putting this uh the decks in the description i promise i will have these decks in the description if you'd like to purchase okay so these these cards right here are only the major arcanas. There's no no main no sorry. There are no other ones, just the majors. Alright. So Spirit, we are here today with our Capricorns and we are wondering what are you wanting to give them? What are you wanting to allow them to understand where they're transitioning? And you guys, I just feel so vibrant, so heavenly right now. I feel like I'm actually glowing. Can't see myself right now, but I just feel like I am glowing. So Capricorn, I feel like you guys are just purely happy. Like I feel sun energy for you guys, okay? So I would not be surprised if I pulled the sun card for you, okay? All right. Capricorns, can we get some information on my caps about the energy that they're transitioning? Where are we going? Where are we feeling? What is the power move, the power statement? What is the information that is being given to them? I just need three cards for them, please. Can I get three cards for them, please? We are not going to wake them up. Can we wake these cards up? Let me get two cards. Three cards. Let me get three cards because you know three represents uh, working together, you know, for quality work. So that's exactly what we're trying to get for you guys. We're trying to get the spirits, the guides, the angels, guardian angels, ascended masters, all of that to relay a message. To work with you and guide you in assistance. All right. Oh man. Do, 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 do. All right. So we have our three cards right here. Let me just put these here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and flip over. We have the Magician card, which is the Power card. Number one is where you're coming from, the Power of the Magician. That is, I want to say, finding your power, using your power, manifesting. You've probably been manifesting, scripting, um, taking advantage of things, believing in yourself, believing in what you but you aren't realizing the power that you hold. It does say one body, one personal power, one moment of power, decide now. And I feel like a lot of you guys are recognizing who you were, what you stood for, um, realizing what you were capable of, your worth. Um, a lot of you guys could have been manifesting things, noticing what it is that you wanted and what you want to go after. The card that you have here is four, which is home, the emperor. Um, 
when I see when I see this, I feel like you're taking your power and now you're now moving into your plans, you guys. You have your plan ready, you're ready to move forward. For a lot of you guys, you are now um, taking action and the things that you've manifested. For a lot of you guys, I do see that you could have, with the magician card, you could have, you know, started something new, a new relationship, um, just trying something new, believing in something and allowing it to grow. And for a lot of you guys with this four card in the home, I can see you believing that you're settling down with somebody. Uh, with other people, you could be finding where you want to kind of build yourself up with and start like a new foundation, a new growing with this home card. With four, I just get a lot of stability. Um, four also represents a lot of stubbornness. So I can see you guys as... Um, saving um i can see you guys are now you know seeing what opportunities you what opportunities you want and what you're willing to receive i feel like you're knowing your worth now capricorn and you're not willing to settle for anything anybody just can't offer you anything and you're not willing to just take anything okay i also see you guys um wanting maybe family um you have started probably home shopping uh building a foundation you could be getting ready to launch a business or something so i definitely feel that for you guys with the one and four so this is like whatever you're working on whatever you're manifesting is starting to have a little bit more stability a little bit more grounding um to it i feel like you've been putting in the work and now you know this is something that you're focused on this is something you desire this is something that you've been planning on this is something that you're ready to step forward in and show show all of your work off <laughs> like you have a lot of work to do because you're hard working of course and you are a capricorn which means you know we know you guys like y'all stuff to the t y'all are hard working and um y'all are very very practical and planning people so i just can also see that uh you're you're getting to the point where the things that you have been manifesting are coming to fruition which is giving your giving you your foundation like i said i feel like a lot of new foundation uh, with the sun, I said I felt a lot of glowing energy. So I can see that you guys are feeling safe and happy where you are. Um, I don't know, you could be feeling, uh, enjoying life right now with your family, your friends, the people that you're around. You could be f enjoying the things, I don't know, like going out and starting to do the things that you enjoy, realizing, uh, realizing what makes you happy, okay? So we're going to turn over these cards for you guys, and I won't be reading any reversals at all. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny because underneath the home card, which is the emperor, the home card does says, I am, I am, I'm sorry, am I really happy and safe where I am living? Do I love my home? Okay, and underneath the emperor card, which is stated as home, you do have the empress card. Okay, and like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys could be coming into family. Um, you're looking to grow and to build right now. You're willing to, you're setting up a foundation to probably leave something behind, to leave something for your family, you know, like a, not a residual income, but you're definitely trying to build something of generational wealth or something that has some kind of, when I think of Capricorn, I'm sorry, y'all are like earth and it reminds me that y'all are attached to pentacles. So y'all are very money motivated. Y'all are good with saving and things like that. So even if you don't have children, even if you're not in a relationship, even if you don't, you know, have your own small family, you guys think ahead and y'all are already preparing for the things that you want. So you could be saving for a wedding already before you're even dating somebody. You could be saving for a home, a uh, eventual home with somebody, or even if it's for yourself, you could be saving to travel. You could be saving, you know, I feel like to, to create, you could be saving to go back to school, to get this knowledge, but you're, you're doing things and a plan with a plan to leave behind a lot of wealth, a lot of generational wealth for what you believe as your future family, okay? So you do have the Ace of Cups, which is underneath the Magician. So I do feel like you guys, <laughs> I feel like this is a relationship reading, sorry, but I do feel like you guys have allowed yourself to open up emotionally and allow yourself to dive into the things that you love. Like I said, you're starting, you, you opened up, you found out what you loved, you nurtured yourself, whatever it is, you took the power and you seen who you are, okay? 
Now you do have the Ten of Swords right here in the middle. With the Ten of Swords, that's just like something ending, something being over, something being dead uh, after the torment, the tortures, the heartache and the pain, like that journey is over and you're transitioning. Now, because this is between the Ace of Cups and the Empress, I do believe that you could have been deading away an old relationship that you were holding on to. Whether this relationship is a friendship, a family ship, uh, actual person that you were involved with in the past, or even a job, uh, whatever the relationship was that you encountered, I feel like you might have lost your magic and you didn't see the power that you held because you weren't held um, in a higher value in those people's eyes. They didn't acknowledge you. They didn't respect you. Uh, and I feel like you gave your all with this Ace of Cups to these people. And it kind of drains you in a sense to where you could find yourself working so hard or putting so much effort into it that it was stressing you out. You could have came with addictions. You could have found yourself dealing with some issues emotionally, whether it was anger, sadness, or whatever it was. And you kind of felt yourself giving up at some point of time. However, I do believe you found yourself in between this transition um, within finding the power for yourself and dealing with things that you needed to deal with that allowed you to have this ten of swords, which is your ending moment, the ending of a cycle, okay? So you were able to walk away and leave these thoughts, these emotions, these feelings, these misrepresentations all behind Capricorn, okay? And what you were able to do is you were able to take those losses or those people who who are seeing you grow, seeing you birth new things. They could be feeling like they're taking losses right now. They're actually saddened right now because they're realizing that you see your worth and you're glowing right now this is a pre this is the empress card which is another major arcana which is very very important because not only are you your major arcana is up here telling you where you're transitioning but this major arcana right here is telling you that you are able to create whatever it is that you want whatever you think whatever you believe that you are flowing with creativity you are able to produce things at a rapid rate right now, whatever you're wanting to do, because as a Capricorn, we know that you're willing to put in the work. So that is nothing. And the fact that you have found your power and you have learned how to manifest, you have learned how to how to um, grow the things that you desire. You're able to birth whatever it is that you want, Capricorn. Now, for some of you guys, you know, you could have been going through a, a space where you and your partner was trying to have a kid and it could have just been a really really tough time for you guys because you weren't able to conceive i can see now that this is the time the universe was just waiting for the perfect time for you to heal and deal with different things and you could be now giving birth to a child or finding out that you are or your partner is holding a child within now like I said, you have all this creativity flowing with you through you. You have all of this, this just amazingness flowing through you. It's just like you're able to create new beginnings. You're able to create whatever it is that you want. Okay, you have the power within you, Capricorn. Okay, so that season of uncertainty, not knowing, overthinking, overanalyzing, anxiety, settling is over. And you have realized that you carry your own power. You've realized the growth that you can that you can uh, create within yourself. I feel like you are also open to opportunities. You're, you're allowing yourself to welcome in things. As you can see, there's yellow in the background. That is the glow, a pregnant woman's glow. Okay, you can be a man as well, but you're getting that glow. Everybody knows about the pregnant woman's gl glow, and that is what you're having. You are glowing because everything that you want it's like when you touch it, it's turning to gold. Whatever you want, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're manifesting, because you are willing to put this work in, I feel like it's coming at a rapid pace. Like everything that you've been working towards, you've been manifesting, you've been building on, I feel like with this home is in this, this stomach right here. I don't know if you ever heard of nesting, okay, with nesting. Um, it's like you're preparing your home, you're getting ready. And I feel like with your home cards, you're getting ready to start accepting your blessings. You're getting ready to see these blessings overflow for you, Capricorn. That season, that dry season, that 
feeling of unworthiness is over and you are now stepping into the empress energy which is the number three and that just gives me like i said before the energies working with you in the collective the universe you and your higher self working in a collective your spirit guides your guardian angels working with you in, in a collective because you have set your intentions and they have been able to fulfill your desires and your dreams which is just so beautiful really really beautiful yeah you have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck along with the ace of pentacles so you you can definitely create and grow anything that you're wanting to capricorn there is no question about it. You can definitely create and grow whatever it is that you're wanting, whether this is financial, whether this is peace, whether this is um, happiness, um, traveling, uh, finances, whatever it is that you want, you have the power to create and grow, okay? Because of the position that you're in, the energy that you're transitioning into, which is just a beautiful, 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 Beautiful energy. Capricorn, I'm loving this for you guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you guys. All right, so for your past energy or you're transitioning out it says dream it to life see and feel what will soon be real take time to visualize the experience you want to have before any situation and you're going into the be confident shine your light take up space you don't need anyone's approval you deserve to be proud of who you are you're standing firm in who you are then you have the allow, let it flow to you, allow others to lead, let go of control and expectations, trust what is yours, uh, trust that what is yours will always find you. And then you have celebrate love, your relationships are divine blessings, cherish your loved ones, say I love you often, okay? Very, very beautiful, very beautiful. And now I'm going to give you your angel number, Capricorn. Oh, okay. So I did, I did just use, I'm sorry, because I didn't even tell you what deck I just used, because I used the Light Series deck. I used my, um, the Message Tarot deck, which is just the Major Arcana. I did use my um, Fall Back deck. And right now I'm using my Mystic Martian for the angel numbers. For my Capricorn. All right. And we have the number 15, which is Nephilim. It says controversial, assessing new perspectives. And I'm going to tell you what this new 15, I mean, what this new 15, what 15 is. But just looking off the card itself, I just get the vibe that you guys are uprooting and moving somewhere where you are worthy somewhere where you can produce, somewhere you can grow. So you're going through a change right now of moving, okay? Of transitioning <laughs> and, and, and starting somewhere new. So a lot of you guys be going into a new home, a new job. It's definitely like settling somewhere new for me. Um, let me go ahead and get the angel number 15 for you guys. And 15 is new ideas. Level up your thoughts. Inspiration is the way your angels are directing you onto your inspired path. The ideas you get are important as they lead you to the next step. Repeat this mantra. I am open to receiving divine inspiration. All right, you're going into the next step. Now, as 15 has a base number and the base number is six, I will also read you the angel number six. And it's material world. Only love lasts eternally. You are paying too much attention to the superficial Oftentimes, you can, can forget the depth of what you are doing in life by focusing on the material world's distractions. Your angels guide you to focus on the intangibles you have in your life, love, friendships, character, qualities of self, and to give them a moment of appreciation. This is the time to spend time with your family and your loved ones and nurture those relationships. All right, this is your transition reading, Capricorn. Please let me know how you feel down below in the comments, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, this 
is a general reading for Capricorns of any placements. And if you like a personal reading, the link is down below. Thank you. Have a great day.